what is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, I have a bit of a summer Zara try on haul for you guys. Last time I did a Zara haul on my channel, you guys really enjoyed it. And I personally really liked shopping on Zara just because the quality of the items are so good. I mentioned this in my previous video, but I will not touch the Zara website with a barge pole. It is so bad. So everything that I picked up was actually from in store. If you guys enjoy shopping at Zara or these kinds of hauls, then definitely give this video a big thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. But if you guys want to see what I picked up from Zara this time around, then without further ado, let's get on into the video. Okay, so first things first, I have a little satin moment kind of dress. I am so excited about this one. So this is kind of like a midi slash maxi dress. I'm not too sure how long this will be on me, but look how freaking gorgeous the front is. It's kind of like an A-line dress. The fabric is so freaking gorgeous. It feels very luxurious, but this dress wasn't actually that expensive expensive. This dress in particular was £45.99 and I got this in an extra small but the quality is so gorgeous. So on the front as you guys can see it's just a strappy kind of front but then on the back it has this really cool crossover sort of detail and then it also has this like back band where there's a cutout right below it which is quite low down. I feel like this dress would be perfect for like a wedding guest kind of situation or maybe even a hen do like if you're the bride how cute would this be on? I am a little bit concerned about the bust area because this kind of like slither where the boobs sit is kind of narrow so I'm hoping I'm gonna fit into this but I guess let's just pop this one on and see how it fits. Okay so here is the dress and what it looks like on oh my gosh I'm actually in love with this. I genuinely feel like this is one of my favorite dresses I have gotten in a long time. Can we just talk about how snatched this is making me look? I was a little bit worried about the neckline and that it would be a bit too revealing because it is quite like thin but I mean now that I've got it on, it's actually okay. I couldn't actually wear a bra underneath this, so I had to go without. But to be honest, you can't really see anything through it anyway, so I feel like we're safe on that front. I actually still feel very supported in it and everything else, and the straps are really nice and comfortable too. I'm mainly just so in awe with like the shape of this. I feel like a lot of the time when I find a satin kind of dress, it's never usually that fitted. But this one, oh my gosh, I am just in love with it. And look at the back, it's so cute. I absolutely love the back detailing. I think it's so cute and dainty and it's just so feminine. I feel like this would be such an amazing like going out to brunch on a holiday kind of vibe. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to wear this. Also, I have to say the fabric that this is made of is actually quite thick. So even though I'm not wearing seamless underwear underneath this, I feel like it's not that obvious. That's always one thing that's really important to me when I'm wearing like satin kind of fabric. I just don't want my underwear to be like peeking through it. And also on the back, I've just noticed it's got a little bit of a slit which I think is really nice as well. Genuinely this dress is absolute perfection. I am giving this one a 10 out of 10. Okay moving on to the next outfit. We have probably the most gorgeous top I've ever seen at Zara. It is this little number right here. Now I know this may not be everyone's cup of tea but I personally love that massive floral kind of detailing. So this little crop top has adjustable straps. They're very dainty which is my favorite and then this top was $45.99 yet again. I just feel like it's so different it looks really bougie and it looks like a really expensive top that I've seen I'm pretty sure on TikTok. So yeah, that's the top half and then for the bottoms I saw these pink trousers and I just could not help myself. So these are high-waisted baby pink cigarette kind of trousers They're very sort of like narrow and tapered at the bottom But I love the detailing on the front like look at all this stitching I once again got these in an extra small because I wanted them to be really fitted and these were 30 pounds Which I feel like is really good for a pair of trousers this nice Sadly, the pockets on this are not real, but perhaps you might be able to like cut the seam and they might be lined on the inside. So potentially it could be a pocket, but I mean, as it stands, they are sewn up. And then on the bag is just plain with no pockets at all. I felt like these two together would make such a cute outfit. So let's pop it on and see how it fits. Okay, I realized that this whole outfit is a little bit much and it might not be everyone's cup of tea, but personally, I think it's so freaking cute. This top is everything. I feel like it's so elegant. It's so different. And most of all, it looks expensive. It actually kind of looks designer, doesn't it? I love the asymmetry. I think it's really fun. 
one and it's definitely very girly. I feel like it just looks classy. There's something about it. And as for the trousers, are you kidding me? Look how well fitted these are. They're so like tailored. They're so snatching at the waist. Like I said, I got these in an extra small, which is probably why they're so snatching. Just because I usually wear like a size small in most of my clothing, but they're not uncomfortable. They're actually really nicely fitted to my body. So I'm really happy that I did size down. Again, the quality of these is just unbeatable. They're not see-through. They're really, really nice and snatched. And I just love everything about them. They're so cute. I can see myself wearing this kind of outfit for like a birthday party or like brunch with the girls, that kind of vibe. So I really, really love both of these. I'm gonna have to give this whole outfit a 10 out of 10. I just can't help it, guys. Okay, next up we have one of the cutest summer dresses I've seen in a long time. Literally as soon as I saw this in Zara, like at the front of the store, I just knew I had to get it. So this dress was $32.99 and it's basically like a baby doll kind of shape. So it's got that super narrow bust area and then it kind of like really fans out and it's very poofy on the bottom. It's basically kind of like tiered with all the different like levels of the ruffle. I love this so much. I kind of got this in mind with like going on holiday to like a hot country. Imagine this kind of dress right by the beach. Oh my gosh, a dream. Again, I love the fact that the straps are adjustable. So I mean, let's go try it on and see how it looks. But I can tell already that I'm gonna love this. Okay, is this not the dreamiest holiday kind of dress? I'm obsessed. Look how cute this is. This is giving me such like beachy kind of holiday vibes. I cannot wait to be able to wear this. I personally love the shape. I feel like it's very flattering, even though it's not like body hugging or anything like that. I just feel like it looks really cute on. I have to say the fabric on this like chest area is really, really comfortable. It's very sheared. So it's kind of like really stretchy and really supportive at the same time. I'm actually not wearing a bra underneath this and I feel like I could totally just wear it like this on its own without anything underneath. And I also really love the shape of the bottom of the dress. It's very poofy, very baby doll like. I'm glad to say that the fabric isn't see-through even though it's made of quite a thin cotton kind of fabric. And yeah, this is what it looks like from the front as well as the back. I think it's so cute, definitely very holiday appropriate. So I'm gonna give this another 10 out of 10. Okay, now moving on to the next outfit. This next item I have is actually a body, which I just love so much. It's kind of got like a sweetheart sort of neckline, but then it's got this like cow neck ruffle going over the front of it, which I feel like is so interesting. It's then once again got adjustable straps and then it just comes straight down. It does actually have a zipper on the back, which is really handy. And then of course the crotch area just has a little clasp in the middle. So I just love the look of this. I hope it's gonna be comfortable on. I just love the look of this. I feel like it will go with so many different bottoms and options for outfits. So I cannot wait to style this. So I actually decided to pair this body with a really bright statement kind of skirt. They had this in a few different colors, but I was really drawn to this color just because it looks so cool. You guys know I'm not very adventurous with like neon colors, especially greens and blues. I'm kind of more inclined to go for like a neon pink usually, but I wanted to step outside my comfort zone. So I went for this lime green and I just love it so much. I love this fold over effect. This is what it looks like on the back. So it's got two faux pockets and then obviously it's a skirt. So it's actually shorts underneath it. And the skirt was 25 at 99 once again. So I feel like this outfit was pretty affordable and it's definitely really good quality. So let's see how it looks together. Okay, I've got to say this, Zara skirts just hit differently. I don't know what it is, but these fit so nice. In my last Zara haul, I also picked up a white skirt. It was kind of different on the front. It just had like a little slit, but oh my gosh, it's one of my most favorite skirts I've ever bought. And I feel like this is probably next to follow. This is such a stunning shape. It's really fitted around the waist. It's very thick in fabric. I feel a little bit risky showing this much skin on my top half, but I mean, it's okay. It's pretty well covered. I don't feel like I'm gonna slip out or anything like that, so that's good. And I still feel pretty secure in it. I feel like with this top, you're probably not very likely to be able to wear a bra with it just because you can kind of like see right here. But you could totally maybe wear like nipple covers or sticky cups or something like that underneath this if you do want to. I feel like this whole thing as an outfit is very, very different for me, but it is a vibe. I am so here for this neon color. I think overall, I'm probably gonna give this outfit like an eight out of 10. I don't really know how I feel about the top. I mean, I love the shape of it and everything, but I could foresee me feeling a little bit self-conscious wearing something like this out just because it is kind of exposed. As for the skirt, I really, really love it. I love the color and I really love the shape and the way it fits on. So I'm giving this 
skirt a 10 out of 10. Okay guys, moving on to the next outfit, we have the neon pink moment. This is exactly what I mean by I'm more inclined to go for like a neon pink rather than any other color. So lo and behold, I have a bright neon pink dress. So I actually got this in a size medium because they didn't have my size, but I'm hoping it's gonna fit okay. If not, I might just have to go back to a different store and see if I can exchange it. But this is what it looks like. It's made of that really nice satin kind of fabric. It's very, very soft. I hope it's gonna snatch me in at the waist. To be honest, I don't really know what the fit of this is gonna be, but I really I really like the straps. Look at this like clear chain. I love this. This dress was $32.99, so I guess let's pop it on and see how it looks. Okay, I'm not entirely sure why, but I don't really like this on. So first things first, I know I said I got this in a medium, so that's probably why it's a little bit loose on me. But just in general, like the fit of it just doesn't feel right. Also the fabric that this one is made out of just feels way less good quality compared to that first dress that we tried. I thought the fabrics might be kind of similar because they're sort of like that satiny silky kind of fabric but this one is so much thinner and it's also super creased. I know that with a bit of steaming it probably would look a lot better but like at a first glance this doesn't look that good. For me it's just the fit in general it's just a little bit ill-fitted and that could be down to the size but I think I'm just gonna have to return this a full stop. It's probably a big no from me. And now moving on to the very last outfit, we have a little bit of a suit moment. I just fell in love with this suit. It is literally so me. It's a neutral color, which you guys know I love. It's made of like a really nice cottony kind of fabric. It feels like it'll be quite breathable. It's got padding in the shoulders, which is amazing. Zara blazers that she never missed the mark, but they are quite expensive. This was $59.99, which I mean is quite a lot for just a blazer but you definitely do pay for the quality it is well worth it it does also come with some matching trousers which i got separately how much were these these were 45.99 i got these in a size small i do wish they had an extra small so i guess we'll see how these fit but this is what they look like and to go underneath all that i picked up this gorgeous crop top which gives me such corset like bridgerton vibes i think this is so cute this was 25.99 and i actually got this in an extra small so hopefully this should fit me well so i guess let's pop the whole outfit on and see how it pairs together. Okay, and here is the last outfit with the matching suit. I have to say, I really, really love this blazer. I don't love the trousers. Weirdly enough, I really thought I would. I mean, they look like they fit okay, but I actually had to tie it at the back in a little knot because they were so baggy. I got these in a size small, I'm pretty sure, so technically they should still fit, but just be maybe a little bit baggy, but no. These were so loose that they were literally falling down my hips. As for the crop top, I probably should have gone for a size small rather than an extra small because this is super tight in the booby area. But yeah, this is what they look like all together. I love this outfit so much. I just wish that the things fit me properly. Moral of the story, size down in the trousers from Zara, but maybe maybe size up in the corsets because they are a little bit tight. Apart from that, I feel like this hot outfit is an absolute serve. So I'm going to give it like a seven out of 10. I just need to change the sizing up a little bit. All right, guys. So that was everything for today's Zara summer haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and got to see what is kind of new in store. I have to say Zara is becoming one of my favorite like high street stores right now. I just feel like the quality is so amazing, but it is also expensive. Let me know what you guys think about Zara. Do you think it's overrated? Do you think it's worth the money? I mean, the quality speaks for itself, so I kind of feel bad, but it is really good. Let me know in the comments below which one of these items or outfits was your favorite. I feel like I cannot choose, but I really did like that, like, floral kind of top with the pink trousers. As always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up down below, and also be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. But that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video as always, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah!